but am I in focus? I really want to start posting on YouTube a lot more. I... <laughs> Fuck, maybe I shouldn't post on YouTube because I can't speak at all. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> oh my gosh, you definitely can hear the yard work outside. So before I start answering your guys' questions, I guess I'll do like a little introductory of myself. Ew, I feel like I'm in school and the teacher goes around and you have to like say a fun fact about yourself. I'm giving myself PTSD. I was always like sweating and shaking before it was my turn to talk. But anyways, I'm 25 and I'm currently living in Florida. Before I started doing content full time, I did channel marketing. So I had like that whole corporate nine to five job experience. But let's back it up a little bit more. I graduated from FSU with a degree in finance, hence the channel marketing job. But the kicker was the job that I took was actually in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I did that job for about a year and a half until my content started taking off. Financially, it just made more sense for me to do content full time. And now we're here. Yay. Enough with the backstory. Let's get into the juicy questions. Starting off, what made you choose social media? What do you love and dislike about it? And what are your future plans? I have been making content since I literally came out of the womb. I really had a YouTube channel when I was like eight years old. I was posting videos, which I really wish I kept up with that because like who knows where I would be today. I guess we'll never know. And then TikTok came out when I was in college and I would always just post on there just for fun. Like it was nothing ever serious for me. I never thought it would be my my career and it kind of just evolved into it being my career because I started just putting more and more effort into my videos I started growing a following the rest is the story but I wouldn't ever say like my goal when I was younger was to be like an influencer like it kind of just happened if that makes sense what do I like about social media there's so many things to like about social media the community being able to share all my favorite products with you guys and bits and parts of my life makes me feel so happy being able to wake up and just like do what I love is such a blessing especially knowing what it feels like to have that full-time job and living in a state that I did not like has just been such an amazing beautiful experience that I am so incredibly grateful for. But what do I dislike about social media? Sometimes it's hard to turn off. My screen time is disgusting. And being present in the moment and knowing when to like separate work from real life now that social media is my work and I'm sharing my life. It's kind of all merges together. It's hard to find a work-life balance if that makes sense. So my future plans I would absolutely love to have my own brand one day. I would love to do something with clothing and fashion. I kind of want to get one full year of influencing under my belt and then dive into a new project. Do you have Botox or what's your fave treatment? No, I do not have any Botox, but I do have cheek filler and jaw filler. Do I think it's worth it? Mm, no, like I spent, I'll just be straight up. I spent, I think it was like $1,600. I It was supposed to be 2000, but I got a discount. I don't think it made any significant difference with my face but with that being said I do have an appointment next week actually for my first round of Botox don't currently have any but am I getting some yes what inspires you professionally or personally what inspires me a lot of other content creators inspire me I'm seeing what they have achieved with their platforms I'm seeing other people do what your dream is because then it's just like it helps make it more real and be like, wow, they can do it like I can do it too. Just seeing all the incredible women in this influencing social media industry just make it and create brands and have such strong communities, it's incredible. I think it takes an incredible amount of talent and skill. You know, I think there's a stigma around influencing and being an influencer that people miss kind of like how, and I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my God, my job is so hard, but there's, it takes a certain skill set to make it in this industry, especially with it being so oversaturated, which is great. Like, I think there's room for everybody. Seeing girls thrive and be bad boss bitches, that's so inspiring. Weekly workout routine slash booty day. I used to be so into, like, going to the gym and lifting weights and eating my, like, whole body weight and protein, but then 
I kind of blew up like a balloon and I think my entire body was inflamed and that just it wasn't working for me so I've really kind of slowed down my movement I do Pilates and I do hot yoga and I like to alternate them each day everybody's bodies are so different so when I get asked that question very hesitant to answer because you have to find what works for you but I guess yeah what works for me is just the slower movements and not pushing myself as hard and i remember when i was younger i would go online and i would always like want to know what other girls are doing to look the way that they looked and then i would mimic what they were doing and i just would not come out looking like how they did let's be real i've always wanted a big fat butt yeah that's just not in the cards for me how to leave a toxic relationship need sisterly advice sorry if the lighting just got different it started raining so it got dark anyways i have been in an extremely extremely toxic relationship whoa before leaving it is very difficult it is such a hard thing to do when you are in the situation because you're so blinded all you can really see is that person and being with that person it's so much easier to put the toxicness aside and focus on how much you love that person and stay with them and stay being treated terribly, which is so incredibly sad. But a lot of women, I think, especially for me personally, you're blinded by the love that you have for this person and you will continuously make excuses for them and think they're gonna change. It's no easy thing to leave a toxic situation. Imagine you love this person that is treating you so horribly imagine what can happen when you love a person that treats you well do you want your kids to have a toxic father food for thought and none of your friends and none of your family like you being treated horribly so almost sometimes you gotta like maybe if you can't do it for yourself do it for your parents who don't like seeing their daughter be treated terribly or your friends who don't like seeing you going through that like maybe do it for the people around you does that make any sense you got it i believe in you and you will find better i i, I promise you will find better okay um i'm getting a lot of makeup tip questions skincare questions which those can be saved for separate youtube videos oh my gosh you guys ask some crazy ass questions i'm not answering do you use a digital camera to take your pictures if so which i use the canon g7x mark III. i'm actually filming on it right now it takes amazing pictures too pros and cons of living alone in your 20s after college do you recommend having a roommate so i've lived alone i've lived with a boyfriend now ex-boyfriend and now i live with a roommate so i've hit all three like living points in my 20s all three were amazing amazing experiences let's start with living alone cons of living alone um it can be very lonely <laughs> i think it's so good to experience because you learn so much about yourself you have this whole space you can decorate it however you would like you don't have to cater to anyone else but yourself and i think it, everybody should experience it at least once in their life i think the only con is just like you can get lonely do i recommend having a roommate i think it depends on who the roommate is like i've gotten so lucky with my ex-boyfriend and my current roommate they were both they're both amazing amazing people to live with so i've gotten very lucky with that it depends on who your roommate is let's just be real but currently right now i would pick living with somebody than without anybody i don't know i like having friends around I feel like you exude independence and i'm struggling hard with that any tips thank you so much that is the biggest compliment ever i have been an independent person since i was born like i'm not even kidding you when i was in third grade i wanted to transfer school so my seven-year-old self called up the new school and asked to schedule an interview because it was a private school and my dad was like okay if you want to go you have to call them so i'm literally seven years old calling the school being like hi and i set up an interview because i want to come here I've always been taught at a young age like if i want something i have to do it on my own so that's kind of just how i've lived my whole life especially financially i hate relying on other people for that so since i was the legal age to work i've had a job when you can financially support yourself i think that really helps boost your independence because you don't really have to rely on anybody for anything really like you can provide it all to yourself and that has really helped me become 
independent just trusting yourself i think having faith in yourself and trusting yourself can help you be more independent being confident like making decisions you don't have to ask for everybody's opinion like you are your own human being like own it and also it takes time and practice i don't know maybe start with something small like making decisions that you would normally go to somebody for be like no you know what i'm gonna make this decision for myself today or if you don't have a job then maybe start with a fun job on the side like for instance i worked at a tanning salon or i worked at a clothing store it doesn't have to be anything super crazy but it does give you a sense of like independence having your own money what are you doing when you overthink i am crying <laughs> just kidding i probably work out if i'm if i ever find myself like overthinking about a situation like when i can't control my thought i go work out or I sit in my mirror and do my makeup and blare music or listen to a podcast because it just takes my mind off of whatever I'm thinking about. This lip liner is so pretty. Also, a lot of people in these comments are saying like how amazing my skin is, you guys. Like I have to just let you in on a little something. Um, my skin looks this way because of Accutane. Like my skin, I used to struggle with my skin for years until I went on Accutane. Yes, I have developed a really good skincare routine that I'll share in another video, but the main reason is Accutane. But I have finished my makeup and I think I've answered a lot of your guys' questions. You know, I say I'm gonna keep posting on YouTube, but like every time I say that, I end up not posting and then I'm like, shit, like I said that I would and then I don't and then it's just like this endless cycle of beating myself up. So I don't wanna hold myself to any standard, but I will say a goal is to keep posting on YouTube more and make it more of a priority. But yeah, this was so fun. I really enjoyed this time with you guys. Okay, it was the name I was Stay tuned for more videos.